in the event duct tape challenge, or one of the other events where you might be using duct tape to make structures, there's a few things you can do to manipulate it. Um, one is to make big sheets. To do this, it helps if you have some kind of fairly hard, solid, smooth surface. Because what you can do is lay several pieces out so that they just barely open or overlap. I'm not doing a very good job making this stay even. But you get the idea. So you overlap it just a little bit, and then if you peel it up, oops, didn't do a good job there. If you peel it up from the edges, you get a sheet of duct tape that you can make something with. If you need the sticky side, it's still pretty sticky. It only lost a little bit of stickiness from being on my table. Uh, if you need the sticky side for whatever you're doing, great, you've got that still. If you don't want it to be sticky anymore, all you do is do the exact same thing from the back side. Now you can do this either straight on with it if you just need to cover the stickiness, or if you need it to be stronger, you can cross the other ways. So it's almost like making a weave out of the duct tape, except for you're really just going opposite directions so that the grain of it runs both ways. do then is you peel it up and now I've got a nice sheet of duct tape if I needed it to be nice and neat and perfect I could use scissors or very carefully tear the edges off but for this demo I'm just gonna fold it over and then same thing on the other side Now I've got myself a nice solid sheet of duct tape that's really strong that I can manipulate in other ways. Um, this might be useful if you were making a fan or the bottom of a boat or an airplane. You can fold it just like you could fold a piece of paper. Um, there's a lot of uses for a nice sheet of duct tape like that.